What's up guys, Miss Bessie here back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes commentary video. And the Military Might event is back. I hope you didn't put mothballs on your rebels quite yet because the rebels are still useful in the Might of the Empire event, as I like to call it. Now, I do have five seven-star rebels because I was able to unlock the Emperor. So, of course, I'm going to throw those five rebels that I've got in right off the bat and give it my best. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Military Might events, they are a special event that you don't use allies, but you do have a special ability for the duration of the event, and this one is Counter Watch. You gain health over time, double damage, and a counter attack for one turn, which is extremely useful. As you'll see, I used it extensively to keep my Hoth Rebel Scout alive, and at a few points, a couple of my other characters alive. Um, the goal here is it's kind of an eight-stage gauntlet-style event, and it gets harder as it goes, obviously. But in my opinion, the first four stages are really the hardest. Uh, if you can make it through the first four stages, you can probably make it through all the way to the Emperor. Now, beating the Emperor is uh, a little bit different because he does have an ability to one-shot kill characters, but he can be stunned, slowed, all debuffs can be applied to him. So, if you have Fives, you can try slowing him down. If you have Cody, you can try stunning him. If you have Hoth Rebel Scout, you can stun him. Now, obviously, I am very, very short in the clones department. Um, I never did farm fives. I never got lucky enough to unlock him in a Bronzium pack, and unfortunately, even though he's extremely valuable in the Rancor raid, by the time it got to the point where I was ready to go and farm him, the, the new raid had been announced, and I wasn't sure if he would be valuable in the new raid, so I decided to go ahead and put off farming him until I was sure that he would actually be worth farming. As you can see, my Hoth Rebel Scout never did land a crit on the Emperor, however, with Lando Calrissian and Tactical Genius, I was able to take out all of those Royal Guards extremely quickly and then take down the Emperor before he was able to even kill one of my characters. First time completion rewards are worth it, but unless you are hurting for Empire character shards, refreshing your attempts is not worth it in my opinion. I believe that the shards are essentially a crapshoot, so unless you are really hurting on Empire characters, but are close-ish to getting a couple of them unlocked, or close to getting six or seven stars, they're not going to be... it's not going to be worth it in my opinion. Now, I wasn't able to get the Might of the Empire event done the last time it appeared, so I got the achievement unlocked this time, which gave me... 43 out of 100 shards toward my 7-star Vader, so that's awesome. I've been pretty lucky with my shard shop drops. And I will tell you this, Tier 2, when it says very hard, it means very hard. I feel like I've got a pretty good team of Rebels. I don't have any clones, but I do have a Gear 9 Admiral Akbar, complete with mods. They're not the greatest mods, granted, but they're good mods, and they're max level. A Gear practically gear maxed Stormtrooper Han, who is also loaded down with very good mods in my opinion. He's part of my arena team, so he better be. I have a Gear 9 Lando Calrissian, complete with mods also. Unfortunately, I don't have Jawas, so my crit damage mods kind of suck. My Princess Leia is also Gear 9, complete with mods. I'm actually currently farming Jawas so that I can do the crit damage challenge and get some more powerful mods for Princess Leia, Lando Calrissian, and a few other characters that can use them. My Hoth Rebel Scout is Gear 8, also has mods, a lot of decent ones, because I do have Scoundrels, so I'm able to do some of the crit chance mods. As I said earlier, the first four battles, in my opinion, are the hardest, mostly because of all of the AoE. The first time I ran through this event is uh, what you're watching right now, and obviously these AoE attacks just hammered me. These Magma Troopers obviously had zero remorse, and as they are gear maxed, apparently they had enough potency to actually land their turn meter down, which just ended up screwing me even harder. On this first attempt, I didn't even make it through the third battle before I lost epically. <laughs> it was an epic loss. 
the second attempt that I made wasn't much better. I did make it through the third round, but I got smoked by Darth Vader. Oh man, it was ugly. Um, I don't honestly have a whole lot of good advice on how to beat this. Some of the stronger players in my guild who have Han Solo at 7 stars said that between 5s and Han Solo, it made the event much easier. The second tier of the event, let me clarify that, much easier for them. However, I can honestly say that it, they did meet their goal. Uh, EA wanted to make this second tier harder, and they succeeded in that endeavor. As you just saw, my rebel team, which I thought might have been able to clear tier two, just got smoked. I am working on getting my droids up to par. I do need to go farm some mods for them, so I might actually take a pause from farming Wedge and go use some of that Cantina energy on some mods, because I need to get my droids, and you need to get your droids and Empire ready for the next Military Might event. As always, like, favorite, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.